Hi. It is no longer news that there is Splitsville in in high society dom. I'm talking in the manners of Justice George Adesola Oguntade, who has kicked out his younger wife of 17 years, Chief Mrs. Modu Peola Wemimo Oguntade. He kicked her out of their matrimonial home in Leki in nigeria on the 15th of october 2020 that will that will be last week thursday as we all know justice george adesola Ogunta is a very well-known public figure, uh, figure he was made the british high commissioner a very juicy role uh, to london in 2017 and it is well known the picture that made vogue british vogue magazine on the outfit they wore which was a very very similar color to the queen of england when they went when he resumed office to report to the queen you know it's a tradition that when the um ambassador a new ambassador arrives at the high commission here in london they go to visit the uh, see the queen to report and resume office which is official so it's a very well-known tradition not just to nigeria to everybody so uh mrs wemimo who is the younger wife uh younger wife of uh, justice ogunta they was kicked out of their lucky home last week thursday they've been married for 17 years and you know she's very high society very elegant woman, woman lady very eloquent she's been married to justice okuta day for 17 years and she's a very uh very very close friend to um another young socialite who married the grandpa herself what's her name uh i don't want to mention her name anyway so we leave that there for respect anyway um it is reported allegedly that uh mrs ogutade does not get along with her husband's children and it has been 17 years of backbiting rumors several fights gossip and which has really really taken a toll on the couple's marriage and justice okuntade okuntade has said he doesn't want any more and sent her out packing according to reports you can uh, the pictures are here in the video uh, there was a van a pickup van waiting for outside in the compound to pack all her several uh, suitcases valuable suitcases in the uh, waiting van outside um in the in the house well they, they she didn't she did not get along with justice okunta this uh, children because she did not have any well actually she um she came with three kids she had three boys of her own in her pre previous marriage she was once married and she had three children three boys of our own and justice okunda day has got children of his own so it was like um uh, a mesh family and extended family come together but both of them both wemimo uh and justice okunda day do not have biological children together but justice okunda day has got four or five of his own kids uh which will be a day senior the first son a bimbola and he has another son who is also a senior advocate of nigeria for Lou. He has Adiola, Daniel, Yetunde, and uh, um, and um, GJ. So he's he had a, he's got about five or six kids before he got married to the present uh, young wife. But they did not. Justice Oguntade's own children did not get along with his wife, his young wife. So obviously there has been tension in that house. But according to uh, reports and even not just what we can see over the years i mean um he's really raised her platform and raised her profile up you know and you know it was it was a very it was a marriage of privilege a marriage of privilege a marriage of substance you know and she you know i mean it, it, it was really a, a marriage of elevation i mean got married to a man and he now ended up uh, uh, an ambassador to england that is a very very yeah, my god she's she's a lucky woman i would say i would admit it they are both lucky to have met each other but i would say she's a lucky woman in the sense that according to reports he built houses for all her three sons and they were not his biological children. he accepted them he brought them he brought them up and brought them into his house and accepted them and treated them like his own children like his own biological children so he's a good man i'm not saying she's not a good woman they were really good for each other but the problem is she did not get along with 
justice her husband's biological children and when you don't get along with your husband's biological children that marriage is a ticking time but he ain't gonna last if you are going into a marriage where the man has got his own children and you're bringing your children in you must try hard to get along with the children you might not necessarily get along with everyone because not every one of them is going to like you but at least at least get along with someone you know um this is the report i'm not there and according to reports her her final say was law in the house her final say was rule in the house and the children uh, well, justice ogum target children when when they came visiting their dad they were not allowed to go upstairs they were only allowed to see him downstairs uh, which would be maybe the living room area or something like that. They were not allowed to go upstairs. Now, this is my analysis about it. It is so wrong. If this is true, it is so wrong. Because those children were in that house. They were their father's children before you ever came into the house to be his wife. Moroso, Moroso, what about when your own children come? Your own biological children, your three sons. So do you just see them at the reception and don't allow them to go upstairs? This is where the problem is. And one more thing. How come that marriage break? Because Justice Ogun Tade will have his own family. Why didn't they intervene? So I'm suspecting, I'm suspicious that she herself did not even get along with Justice Ogun Tade's uh, uh, family himself. Not the children, his own extended family. Because you must have a backup you see and uh, um uh, so you cannot allow a, a man's children this is your father's house for god's sake your father had them before you came into their life fair enough you are his wife in the african culture you can't do that you can't stop a man's biological children from from having free access in their own father's house so you know and um it, it was a, a very big a big talk of war because they said uh, his very good uh, friend billionaire uh eleganza uh, chief uh, okoya and his wife uh, shade okoya came in to try to intervene to put the barbed wire to tie the uh, loose wires to make everything mend the marriage mend and things like that but he fell to no hidden ears Ogunta, Justice Ogunta, they had already made up his mind and they didn't want her. And she was insisting, they said the wife was insisting, where is she going to go to? She doesn't have anywhere to go to. But the man has built houses for your three sons. According to report, he even built a house for Wemimo's mother, Hastrop. You see them on TV, they are very high society, things like that. And I was thinking, so this, uh, your mother did not have a house before you married Oguntade, before Oguntade built a house. Yeah? So these are the questions. I will do a part two of this uh, video because I'm going to do a follow-up. So she said she doesn't have anywhere to go to. She doesn't have anywhere to go to. She's not moving. And they said she resisted. But Oguntade said, you are going to get out of my house. You are moving out of my house. That he's had enough. Some time ago, there was an issue about her that there were some paintings in the Nigeria High Commission in London, which she took and sent to Nigeria. And that painting was a very expensive a painting that the staff reported to the High Commissioner that the wife took that painting out of that building. A very exclusive, very expensive. One of those paintings that you can't put price tag. It's so expensive. She took it and took it to, to, to their house in Nigeria that he ordered her to bring that painting, painting back, you know. So that was that report. And I looked at that, that story. I said, oh God, I, I, I didn't, I didn't do it. So we're going to, we're, you know, I left it. I didn't do that story. But now this one is coming. I'm like, this is too juicy. I would not let this go. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do a follow-up. So going back to what I was saying, um, um, uh, 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 Eleganza and the wife Shadi Okoya, because you know she's very, very close to Shadi Okoya. There is nothing that the uh, Okoyas are doing that you would not see when Mimo and Justice Okunda they, they are always sitting on the other side. They are very, very close. Even, you know, uh, Saka sitting at Adebutu, you see all of them in that party and things like that because they all click together. I don't know. They are all billionaires globe. I don't know. Anyway, to, cut this story, to go back to the story, 
uh, and she resisted. She said she wasn't going. And Justice Ogutade insisted she has to leave the house. He had enough of the marriage. He didn't want anything to do the marriage. He wanted her out. And so uh, they, all her stuff was packed. They said she had over 100 suitcases. I would expect that because uh, one of the dresses or ball gowns that she wear, you can only fit two into one suitcase, if not one. So I could imagine that anyway. Uh, you know, with this high society, when they attend all this high society, they don't repeat bag they don't repeat shoe they don't repeat jewelry they don't repeat the hair dryer, they don't repeat the outfit so they spend a lot of money on their outfits and you know nigerian women they know how to compete with each other this one want to outdo the other one the other one want to outdo the other one the other one want to outdo the other one and how is it possible it's not possible so anyway she's she was sent packing so and uh, according to reports of justice Okunta, they say you cannot say you don't have anywhere to go to because i built houses for your three sons each in lekki i also built a house for your mom so you have four houses to go to so you can always go to your houses so for me if it's true i think she should just go to her mother and go and stay with her mother she's